hears your weakness. He hears your struggle. My Redeemer liveth and your Redeemer liveth today. And you can be a conqueror today. It don't mean it's going to be easy. There's going to be pain. We're not sheltered from pain. We go through pain. We go through darkness. We go through difficulty. Joel went through the darkness. He went through the pain barrier. But he said, my Redeemer liveth. And your Redeemer liveth, my friend. You can be bereaved and lose your mum and lose your dad. My Redeemer liveth. You can lose your money in the bank. In a, in a, in a, in, in, uh, going on the stock exchange. My Redeemer liveth. You can lose your job tonight. My Redeemer liveth. You said, Jay, Jay, you've got your head in the sand. You're the Bible about you. You don't know what reality is. You have your head in the sand and you're hiding from problems. No, no, no. You become a Christian, you've got to be a real man, a real woman. There are hundreds of thousands of Christians dying for their faith every year. If you become a Christian, they'll call you a Bible basher. They'll laugh at you and mock you. You have to be a real man and a real woman to make your stand in this day for Jesus. My Redeemer liveth. He lives. He lives. He lives. He lives. And He lives. And so if he lives, no situation is impossible. No darkness is impossible. No situation that you face is impossible. No darkness that you face is impossible. Anything that you face right now, you can conquer because my Redeemer liveth. Is he your Redeemer today? You can be a conqueror today. You can overcome today. By believing in the Redeemer, by believing in him who died and raised again and rose again. My Redeemer liveth. Oh, you might feel you're being battered. Uh, you might feel darkness. You might feel there's no way forward. But Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth and the life. Jesus said, I'm the bread of life. Jesus is the way and Jesus is the one that loves you. Gives a hug. Gives a hug. Come on, show some love. <laughs> Jesus is the way. Jesus is the Redeemer that came to save you. And you can cope with it. You can handle it. You can handle the fire. You can handle the problems. If you come to the Redeemer, my Redeemer liveth. He said that when he lost his children, he lost his home, he lost his health, he lost it all. And there he was on a dung heap. And there his life seemed hopeless. But he said in the hopelessness, my friend, My Redeemer liveth. My Redeemer liveth. And there was, so long as the God of heaven is alive, you're safe in his arms. So long as he can hear your cry, and so long as you go to him, there is hope, my friend. My Redeemer liveth. Oh, he's alive. He died and rose again. He died and rose again. He died and rose again. I ain't see Bertrand Russell rise. I ain't see Emmanuel Kant rise. I ain't see Socrates rise. I ain't see Aristotle rise. I ain't see Plato rise. I ain't seen Buddha rise or Mohammed rise or Charles Darwin rise. But I see Jesus rose from the dead. My Redeemer liveth. He's alive. He's alive to hear your cry. He's alive to hear your need. He's alive to save you from your addiction, to save you from your problems. He's alive. He's alive and well. His name is Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. God bless you, brother. So trust in Him. Believe in Him. Look to Him. Have faith in Him. For He will bring life in your home and life in your heart. It's all deadness. Getting drunk on a Saturday night, puking up. <coughs> Getting drunk on Saturday, <coughs> puking up. What's that all about? My Redeemer liveth. He'll give you new life. He's better than puking up on a Saturday night or a Sunday morning. Because you've got blood. 
He'll give you new life, new purpose, new joy. He'll give you all that you need. He'll give you comfort and joy and peace in the power of the Holy Ghost. But you want to feed on drink. You want to feed on drugs. You want to feed on materialism. And it will kill your soul. But my Redeemer liveth. Life everlasting, joy and peace. And the Spirit of God. That is what you need today. Young people, listen to me. You need Jesus in your life. Don't believe the lies of the media. Don't believe the lies of your friends. Young people, you need Jesus. Young people, you have been sold a lie. You believe a lie. And that is a lie and you need to believe in Jesus. Not your boyfriend who lies to you. Your boyfriend who's telling you things. Oh, you're so pretty, come and sleep with me. No, no, no. He's lying to you. My Redeemer liveth. Believe in Jesus. Believe in the Lord. And thou shalt be saved, my friend. My Redeemer liveth. Come on now. There's hope for you. I don't want you to go home tonight thinking there's no hope. Oh, Jay, I've got debts. Oh, Jay, I've got debts. Oh, Jay, I've got family problems. Oh, Jay, I've got drug problems, money problems. I've got so many problems I can't cope. So many problems I can't deal with it. I'm full of problems, Jay. I can't cope with the problems. I can't deal with the problems. My Redeemer liveth. My Redeemer liveth. He died and rose again. He hears your cry. He hears your burden. You can go to him and he will set you straight. You can go to him and he will hear your cry. He will hear your pain. He will hear you. You said, Jay, I've cried to him. I've prayed to him, but he ain't hearing me. Maybe you need to confess your sin. Maybe you need to say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Forgive me. And then he'll hear your cry. But if you're walking in a way that is not godly, if you're walking in a way that is not right, then he's not going to hear your prayer. Why should he hear a prayer when you blaspheme in him? Why should he hear a prayer when you mock him and you laugh at him? But when you take him seriously, when you seek him, then you will find him. When you seek him, then you will find him. And when you find him, you have his arms wrapped round you with love. The arms of God's love will wrap round you and comfort you and be with you and help you and sustain you and strengthen you. The arms of his love will be there for you. No matter how bad you've been, no matter how far you've fallen, no matter how big your mistakes are, his love will cover them. For he died on a cross and he gave his life for you on a cross. And he shed his blood for you on a cross and died on that cross. Excuse me, and his love will cover your sin. His love covered it on the cross and paid the price for you. But you have to believe in him. Job, thousands of years before Jesus was born thousands of years before Jesus was born he prophesied the Messiah would come he said my Redeemer liveth and two many thousands of years later Christ came and died and rose again and Job's prophecy came true my friend some of you are burdened beyond measure. You're burdened with debt. You're burdened with relational problems. You're burdened with addiction. You are burdened to your heart is broken with the burden. And I want to tell you right now that Christ wants to lift that burden from you. He wants to take that burden and give you a new life tonight. But you to receive that forgiveness and to receive that carrying of the burden upon his own shoulders you've got to believe in him you've got to trust in him you've got to look to him you've got to have faith in him you've got to believe in him and trust in him and look to him and have faith in him you've got to believe in him and have faith that he is the redeemer that lives my friends don't walk in darkness don't walk in the sin of the world don't walk in the perversions of the day, the perversions of the time. We live in a perverse day, a perverse time, a wicked time, an evil time. We live in a time of darkness. We live in a time of corruption. We live in a time of Noah. We are living in the last days, my friend. 
We are living in the last days where there are rumors of wars, where there are going to be more wars, more slaughter, more evil, rising like an evil flood. And the only answer in the last days is to get on the ark of Jesus Christ. Is to get your soul saved and get right with God now before the last days come upon you. These are the last days, my friend. And now is the time of salvation. Now is the time to believe. Now is the time to look to Him and believe in Him while the rest of the world is like the Titanic. They were on the Titanic. They were having meals. They were having the parties. They were enjoying themselves. Oh, we're so safe. We're okay. Everything's fine. We're going to be okay. And the next thing you know, ah! the Titanic goes down ah! and they're dead. And the world today is like the Titanic. Oh, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Ah! And then we find wars everywhere. We find violence everywhere. And Jesus warned us that we're in the last days. He warned us that this is what would happen. And now it's time for you to wake up and to hear the call and the sound, my Redeemer liveth. Do you know the Redeemer? How are you saved today? Are you born again today? Do you know the love of Jesus today? Have you come to know God in a relationship today and believed in Him today and trust Him today and look to Him today? Have you done that with your life? Do it today. Find peace today. Find hope today. Find joy today. Find it.